This is the new Insta360 Ace Pro. It's got an industry leading one over 1.3 inch sensor that can shoot up to 8K video. It's got incredible low light and it's packed with AI features that make both shooting as well as editing easier than ever. And it begs the question, is this gonna be a GoPro killer? Alright guys, for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Trent Palmer. For those of you that have been here, you know that I spend a lot of time flying around in my plane and I've got a whole bunch of little action cameras mounted on it and they're kind of the backbone of my flying content. When Insta360 reached out and told me that they had this new action camera coming out and asked if I'd be interested in trying it, I was like, heck yeah. So I've had a couple weeks to play with this and for those who are unaware, Insta360 is a company that's been making a bunch of compact and super versatile cameras, both 360 degree meaning in all directions as well as standard action cameras for years. So this thing was actually co-engineered with Leica meaning that the lens and the glass inside here is made by Leica which most of you probably know Leica makes incredible lenses. So that in combination with it having a larger chip than pretty much any other action camera out there at one over 1.3 inches, it means that this camera is capable of a lot of things. Now you can tell just by holding this up to like the GoPro Hero 12, you can see how much larger the lens is on the Ace Pro. The Ace Pro also has a new five nanometer chip which makes this thing incredibly smart and it utilizes AI for a bunch of the features internally to make shooting and editing easier. So the first of which is gonna be their pure video mode which allows you to shoot in low light in a way that I have never seen an action camera be able to shoot. We actually compared both the Hero 12 GoPro to this and it is unbelievable what they're able to do with the bigger sensor on this as well as having the AI noise reduction that comes from that really smart chip in there that makes for some really clean low light footage. Cause hell, prior to this, shooting in low light on an action camera is like a hope and a dream. It just meant super noisy footage. Normally the image stabilization was pretty much worthless at night. The Ace Pro is incredible for that. It also can shoot 4K 120, which I did test, and that, especially off of an FPV quad, is super awesome. Even when we're shooting in 4K mode, they have what's called clarity zoom, where you can literally tap on these little arrows or pinch to zoom in. It's <laughs> pretty insane. Here. And it'll double the zoom on the lens, and you're still maintaining a full pixel readout, meaning you're still getting a 4K image right out of the center of that chip, which is pretty cool. Something that's also new, a 2.4 inch flip touchscreen which is awesome for vlogging scenarios or even just rigging your camera up at whatever angle you're at. It's pretty handy to have that. I know, you know, the GoPro has a little screen on the front, but it's so hard to see that I actually prefer having the large flip screen that I can use uh, for whether I'm rigging up cameras. And I actually have used this for shooting a few days, um, just vlogging on it. And it works pretty dang well. We're gonna see how vlogging on this thing goes. We are going to do some fly fishing today. Like, I don't even care if I catch a fish here. Just look at this. How is that not like the coolest backdrop ever? So wild. Now on to the AI side of things, because I know I teased this at the start of the video, but Insta360 is leaning in heavy on the AI side to help with not only shooting, but editing your footage, because it's pretty clear to me that a lot of people are willing to grab cameras or any sort of action camera and go shoot whatever they're doing but 90% of the time, that footage never sees the light of day. It's probably gonna end up just on some hard drive somewhere. Maybe they look through it at the end of the day and never do anything with it. When you have AI highlights turned on, the camera is able to auto-analyze what you're shooting and select the key points of any given clip, knowing that, that hey, this is an exciting moment or this is the best, best action in that shot. And with that, you could effectively shoot all day on your camera and when you open your app at the end of the day, the camera is already going to have a selects edit and it'll automatically create an edit from your day of all the highlights that you don't even have to do anything. It's a done edit that you can just export if you want, share with your friends, or you can go in and manually tweak and edit it yourself through their app, which is super intuitive. It's pretty awesome. Now the other thing too is AI warp. Hey, 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 hey. 
Now this one just kind of blew my mind because I know it's still in its infancy, but basically you're able to do some pretty crazy visual effects using their app and AI Warp. Now when you're in 4K and shooting less than, I think it's 30 frames per second, this does have an active HDR that's pretty dang impressive. Now high dynamic range for anyone that's unaware of what we're talking about there. The dynamic range is the range that the camera is able to see from highlights to shadows without either clipping or blowing out the highlights or completely crushing the shadows to where, you know, the basically the spread between white and black on the video. We're gonna see how it handles keeping, you know, my face exposed as well as the outside. How does that look? Another fun feature, you can pause recordings while you're recording. So say if you're filming like even in an airplane and you're waiting for your clearance, you wanted to get the cockpit audio of requesting it and then you're waiting for your engine to warm up or there's some part that isn't that important for your video. You can actually pause the clip, wait a bit and resume it later, which means that you just have less card space, but you also don't have as many clips to go through. If you wanted to consolidate, say, hey, this little sequence is this part of the video you can now pause and continue recording into the same clip. They also give you the ability to cancel recording. So say you're on your skateboard, you're going out doing some tricks, you don't land it, go over, cancel recording. So you don't even have to write that to card or effectively it's like a quick delete option. Go on to the next one. They're pretty cool little features there. They've also added app background downloading. So you don't actually have to keep the app open anymore. If you wanted to download the footage off the camera to your phone, you can do that and continue to use your phone for other stuff, which is super handy. Another thing, the way that they have come up with their new mounts for this camera are pretty gratifying and super simple and just smart. I really like this. Like for instance, when I'm mounting it on my wing, normally if I bring a GoPro out, which has this same sort of mount on it, you always have to thread and unthread it. And a lot of times I actually have to take the, the thumb screw out to get to the battery. Uh, so it's a bit of a pain to get it on and off. Now with this, I'm gonna be able to actually just mount it on the plane and it comes off that easily. And there's also a bunch of other accessories. Insta 360 sent me their uh, quick release mount, which is this guy right here. It also has a quarter 20 thread on the bottom if you wanna go to a regular tripod, but it just clips on that easy, comes off that easy super fast. And also their multi-mount tripod, which is a little flip out tripod. This is actually almost identical to what I use on my main camera when I'm vlogging, because you can hold it like this to vlog, set it up as a tripod. This one also extends into basically a selfie stick, or you can use it as an extension of the tripod itself for mounting onto uh, wherever you want. Oh, and last but not least would be their new GPS preview remote which is awesome. So I haven't been able to test this, but I'm hearing I'll be able to control up to four cameras using this preview remote, which for me is just perfect, given that I'm always running multi-cam sequences that I want all the cameras to trigger at the same time. So in theory, we should be able to control the cameras from this, hit start, stop. I actually 3D printed a little cradle to hold this thing on my panel, which just leaves it right there where I can see it at all times. I'm not fumbling, losing it. So guys, coming full circle with the Ace Pro. Is this thing gonna be a GoPro killer? Time will tell. It's been a very fun, easy thing to shoot with. One of the things I didn't even mention was the pre-record, which I know a lot of the other action cameras have, but you can turn on a setting that basically the camera's recording to a buffer, and when you hit record, it starts the recording 15 seconds before then. And where that's really helpful for is when something's gonna happen at some point, but you don't know exactly when. Let's say fishing is a good time. Basically what I've been doing, I will t set this whole thing in my waders. It's just sitting there right in front of me. I can do all my fly fishing. If I get into a fish, I tell the camera to start recording. It will start recording, but 15 seconds before then. So basically I'm able to make sure I don't miss any moments, even though I wasn't hitting record and wasting card the whole time. So super handy little feature. I was doing that with AI highlights turned on, and that's what ha helped me make like a super cool little edit at the end of a day of fishing. It's just fun. So I think what Insta360 has done here is pretty incredible. Um, again, for anyone that has gotten an action camera, found that you use it, shoot with it a lot, but don't ever end up editing it, I think this is the solution to your problems. Also, probably the best image off any action cam ever. It's packed with good features, super user friendly, and yeah, like I said, I think I'll be switching to these on my plane as my primary action cameras for flying sequences. So, 
you guys should be seeing a lot more of this footage in the future. With that, I think I'm gonna wrap this up here. Thanks again, Insta360, for sending this and for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for tuning in, and you know the drill. Like this video if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Come be my wingman. See you on the next one. Peace.